Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for Alpha 1 of Update 77 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, I've been mostly working on the Rot Wieners update for next week, but that doesn't mean we can't have a few little toys to play with, seeing as I'm actually putting out an alpha today to get some testing information back from you folks. But before we get to the stuff that I'm testing, let's take a look at some new toys. We've got two. One is a long, long needed replacement for a uh, for a very very popular handgun that i have been using a very old model for that i was never super happy with in terms of its texture usage the way it was modeled scaled etc and so that's right we finally have a replacement for the tt 33 with this beauty here properly scaled let's pull out our mag can actually see everything through the witness holes Pop that in. It's got a little heat on her. Wonderful. So that, for those of you who prefer your classic Russian loadouts, we've got that now. In addition to that, I have a, a firearm model that was donated for use in the game that it has taken me far too long to get in. So my apologies for Preston for taking so long, but she looks so gorgeous now that she's in that's right we finally have the bfr an absolutely ridiculous single action revolver in 4570 and uh, he actually did several different texture motifs and i picked the fancy one because when you've got a revolver with those dimensions got to go fancy with it so let's load this sucker up remember we take it up over to half cock Advance the cylinder one notch at a time to load it. Close it. We can click down on the touchpad to cock the hammer to fire. Woo -hoo -hoo. Or we can swipe our hand by the hammer as well. Boom. Wonderful. And then we go out to half cock. We can either pull the trigger to eject around or we can click here with our other hand. Wonderful. One thing that is special, and I did this because I actually found a YouTube video of someone testing this out. The cylinder gap is tight enough on this that I actually saw someone mount a suppressor to it. And so I have allowed this to be able to take muzzle devices. So you can either put a... Uh, a muzzle brake on it to make it more controllable or you can put a suppressor let's see what would be what would be swanky eh. yeah always a fan of this one wonderful oh and of course we also have a top rail so let's let's see here Let's pick, yeah, there we go. Mount that pretty far back. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. So there you have it. I, uh, I still, I actually have a couple other revolvers that I wanna try to sneak in before the end of the year, just cause it's a category that doesn't get as much love as it should but it felt like the right moment to pop this in especially considering uh rot wieners has a new area coming next week called old wienerton that has a western flair to it so figured it was the perfect moment to pop in something like this anywho let's go ahead and jump over to the proving ground to take a look at the other stuff that uh we're testing right now so we are over in the proving ground and yes i am in fact today going to give you access to the whiz bang a dinger to start testing this system caveat you should be aware that not everything that will do something when put in a banger is implemented and activated yet 
A lot of things are, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that's both mode specific that hasn't been implemented yet, and there's a bunch of stuff in the item spawner that doesn't do something special quite yet, like the noise makers and things like that. So, anywho, I want to show you the new type we have just for this week because i don't have any of this stuff in the item spawner yet you can spawn lock the containers and the mechanisms so you don't run out so let's see let's put that in there um let's put an explosive in there and let's try our radio which is what we didn't have last time we did our bangers so one thing you will notice when you make one of these is that there's a tiny little note on it that tells you what effect has been granted to the banger based on its payload. Very descriptive. Boom. So we can pop this up over here, throw our banger over there, and we now have this delightful makeshift barbecue lighter uh, detonator for our remote explosives. Ah, wonderful. Let's actually, let's make ourselves a couple of those. Do, 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 do. And, uh, ooh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's make them sticky. That's one. Uh, uh, uh. So you'll notice the notes on this now says sticky and boom run over here let's arm it wonderful arm it back ourselves up pull our detonator out ah wonderful so i hope you folks enjoy playing with the banger system especially now that we have our first example of remotely detonated uh, explosives in here. Uh, the ballistic shield is in here to play with. The new uh, handguns I showed are in the item spawner. I am, against my better judgment, going to let you folks play with this in this scene only. Note, this panel and any other way that spawns SOSIGs in this scene right now don't speak to each other correctly. They're not... They're not fully integrated. This is still a development tool first, but I know a whole bunch of you would enjoy playing with it and finding out the ways in which this will end up breaking is useful to me. Be aware that you will have to set yourself to enemy of bots here to be seen by them if you're spawning them here on a IFF that is not zero. So I have not given you all the rot wiener types because I want to keep those as a surprise for next week as to what they all are, but pretty much everything else is in here. Shot dogs, Merc wieners. So you can set yourself up little fights to, uh, to either participate in or just watch. I shudder to think the various things that you all will figure out to do combining this and those. So I hope you have fun with it. Um, please, if there are bugs with anything, Put them in the bug report section of the Steam community forum. Not the subreddit, not YouTube comments. In one place, so I can keep track of them. Thank you. Anywho, so that is the stuff for you folks to play with this week while I frantically try to uh, get this mode buttoned up. So let's go ahead and jump out of, uh, of VR real quick to talk about release timing. Yo! Hope you're all doing well and are excited to play around with our bangers. Um, I am still racing along uh, with uh, with the alongside a uh, a small army of folk to get uh, to get this update ready for you folks next week. Um, it's uh, it has been wild. Lucas has been working on a, a whole bunch of wonderful visual background fiction and some hidden quests. Uh, that we're adding into uh, into the game. Uh, Cinecat, Stefan, and uh, and Ben Gummer have been rounding out a bunch of visual assets, some of which I had wanted to get in last year and had run out of time, and some of which have been sort of responses to new ideas and uh, things that have, have sort of systemically, you know, exploded over the past year in terms of fun stuff and taken hold. Um, 
but yeah, overall, uh, there's, there's just so much new content going into this mode. In terms of its release date, I am still... I wanted to know exactly what the day was going to be by this devlog, um, but I will tell you that it will either be Thursday or Friday next week. I will make the decision of which it is uh, probably on Monday. I'd originally just been going to do it on Friday, um, but frankly put, the the, the Outer Worlds uh, Obsidian's new RPG is coming out on that day, so both um, I'm going to be a little busy, uh, but I imagine a whole bunch of you all will be as well. And I, of course, want to give you folks a whole weekend prior to Halloween to play this new update. So I'm aiming for Thursday, which should theoretically be possible, assuming that testing of this alpha and the sort of mail bot melee changes and things like that that I've done go well. So keep your fingers crossed for us. We've got plenty to get done. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be exciting, and I look forward to to finding out all of the delightful ways that you end up breaking the uh, explosives crafting system. I am uh, I'm terrified, truth be told. But I'm sure I will get put to see plenty of strange videos on the uh, on the subreddit this weekend as a result of it. Hope you all have fun, and I will uh, talk to you soon. Peace.